es algo nacido, algo creado, nos llena de mucha satisfacción labrar la tierra, cultivarla y con mucho anhelo esperar, cosechar de ese trabajo digno. Queremos la tierra como a nuestra madre, que es la única que nos da el sustento de nuestra vida. All over the world, every day, eating and drinking is an essential part of our lives. As the speed of life increases, it's really important we take time to enjoy these simple pleasures in harmony with the earth around us. Uh, here in Turnhout, our small provincial town in Belgium, you can smell coffee in the air. In fact, we live it and we breathe it. We were founded in 1801, so that's over 200 years ago. As a family company, it's really a passion for us to help local communities. Uh, we just installed 9,000 square meters of solar panels uh, on the roof of our factory to generate our own power uh, and give our coffee waste to local farmers for organic compost. We also want to look after producers in developing countries and we want to invest in the coffee farmers who grow puro. Yo a este lugar he venido de siete años. Comenzamos a trabajar con mi padre, con mis hermanos, y para poder comprar más terrenos para poder vivir en este lugar. El café se vendía al precio que los uh, intermediarios le ofrecían. El sello de Faitrad eh, para nosotros eh, es que eh, nos permite obtener un mejor precio de nuestro producto. Necesitamos de, de ese sello dando asistencia técnica a los productores. Sentirse tan contento al comenzar la cosecha, el resultado de todo ese esfuerzo durante tanto tiempo. Con mis hermanos, mi papá, las esposas, somos pequeños productores. Los grandes productores no les interesaría, pues, con un dólar que se ganen en, en un saco ya. Gracias a la empresa Puro para estos proyectos que buscan combatir el hambre, la miseria en pueblos donde no llega el apoyo del Estado. Esa fuerza que nosotros presentamos hemos podido lograr proyectos como la trocha carrozable que se hizo en el 2006, un proyecto como electrificación se logró hacer el año 2010, el aporte de la población beneficiaria. Ellos al consumir están contribuyendo a que nosotros pongamos mayor empeño en producir mejor, eh, en luchar contra la pobreza, en luchar contra la contaminación ambiental con ese trabajo que hemos hecho que va a servir también para sus hijos o para nuestros hijos. If you look at the 80s and the 90s, people defined themselves by what they bought, by what they had. And now people are defining themselves by what they give. You should feel when you come into a Leon that it's a window to a better place. We were the first people with coffee in London to shout about doing fair trade and organic coffee. And it's now something that is much more common. The reason we love Piro so much is it tastes bloody good. It's really, really good coffee. And that is the most important thing. And then behind that, there is a sense that it is being done properly. You have these collectives of, of people all looking after their areas of land, doing something that is good both for the land and for themselves, and pulled together by Puro. It happens, it almost happens to be fair trade and organic, but what it is, is a focus on doing something really important for the rainforests, and that's very inspirational. The Atlantic rainforest is an area that has suffered 94% forest loss. And what is left today is a microcosm of what it used to be. My grandfather bought this place in 1907. I was born in England 
and found this place here when I was 19. The magic of this place is what binds me to it and to the conservation of this area. In 1996, I had a visit by a friend of mine who identified the exceptional biodiversity and we decided to form the Guapiasu Ecological Reserve and try and change locally what is going on globally. Conservation is about integration of man, the communities that live here, with the nature that surrounds them. The area that Puro Coffee helped us buy had been identified as a singularly important piece of land. It was isolated from the main forest block. You can see the Puro Coffee Reserve. It's that big hill behind the lodge. It has a large area of forest, but it has this area that has been deforested over so many years, converted into pasture, and we want desperately to reforest that area. It's probably 40,000 trees there, and that will link this crucial area back to the main forest block. The conservation project Regra, it, it can't exist by itself. The World Land Trust has been very important for Regra in accessing funds in order for us to purchase land. The land that Piero is helping us buy in Regua is very important because by buying these lands along the edge of the mountains there, it should be a big enough area for a population of jaguar to live in. There are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of species waiting to be discovered. There aren't enough scientists in the world to describe them at the rate they're becoming extinct. It's as simple as that. Saving the habitat they live in is the priority because without that habitat, yes, you could describe them, then they're, they're, there's nowhere for them to live anyway. So let's save what we've got. The World Land Trust seeks to achieve conservation of wildlife and habitats on a landscape scale. We've actually helped buy something of the order of half a million acres. And it was only comparatively recently we started forming partnerships with the, the commercial sector. We've been very careful to select ones which we believe were genuine and sincere. We've been developing this relationship now for four or five years with Puro. Every cup of coffee does actually have a benefit, but we're not getting it based on profits. We're getting it based on turnover. And we're using that to reinvest in the countries where the coffee is grown. So if more companies had the same attitude to corporate responsibility as Puro, I think the world would be a hell of a lot better place to start with. Environmental awareness and environmental education are incredibly important. And seeing the Puro brand putting our logo in front of people, and people begin to say, ah, oh, World Land Trust, I've heard of them. They're the guys who buy nature reserves all over the world. We have become an international company, present now in all continents with our coffee, and we keep growing every day. Um, and we decided it was time to give something back to the world, and that's why uh, the theme of sustainable development became a very important part of our mission. When Puro came along, we saw the trees they were planting, trying to save the rainforests. Um, that whole statement came through very strongly. In the Vineyard Hotel is one of Cape Town's premier hotels. We were with our previous supplier of coffee for 17 years. And I think we were at that stage, as we are still constantly looking for suppliers that are aligned with our vision. Thank you very much. Because the visions are aligned, we now find ourselves in partnership with Puro uh, in projects like Trees for Schools. They are inviting us to, to be partner with them in acquiring trees and planting them, looking after them in various school projects and it seems to make sense for us to just grow this partnership. Every two weeks, plant another one. This is enough here to grow, to feed your family. Puro are showing us that their passion is truly in the realm of, of greening, giving something back to the communities. If we keep just not caring about it, if we keep just buying whatever we want, then what are we passing on to our children? All we're passing on is the problems. All we're passing on is a, a world that's devastated, that doesn't have any beauty left in it.
I work at Mary Cane Cross Cafe, which is situated in Mary Cane Cross Scenic Reserve, um, which has one of the most beautiful rainforests in Australia. To find a coffee which was organic and fair trade was extremely important for where the cafe sits in a protected rainforest area. I love Puree, I love working with it. It's a really easy coffee to work with and it's looking after rainforests in countries that grow our coffee that we all love. It's important to be selling a product which is conscious, which, is, which comes from a conscious heart. Now when I go to other coffee shops and have coffee, it's not as good as mine. That's really true. Doing business is not all about profit, it's also about people and our planet. A wise man once said, a long voyage starts with one step. And yeah, I guess this is what really inspired us to create Puro. We should try and do something. We all have the opportunity to do something and the worst thing we can do is to let those opportunities go by. To have our world forever is why I'd want to look after it, yeah. For every generation, <laughs> yeah. Ahora conocemos cómo poder cuidar que nuestra tierra no se debilite porque la tierra eh, consideramos es, es nuestra madre donde le extraemos todo para vivir. Puro no, no, no lo compra todo porque yo tengo que aprovechar también preparado en, en mi casa para compartir con toda mi familia el café más fresco. <risa>